Hi, in this video, let's talk about how to do the SSRS report de deployment. Say so before going to the deployment concept, yeah. So please let me know if you need any MSBI or SQL online trainings. Please write a mail to training to SQL at the rate gmail.com. So here I will be explaining the with the real time concepts and with a real time project. Thank you. Now let's go to the SSRS report deployment. See before going to talk about SSRS report deployment. So we may need to be ready with the all reports. So what are all the prerequisites before we do the report deployment? See, first of all, we need to create and develop the required reports. So once the report uh, development is done, then you need to build the solution. See, while doing the deployment, so you may need to build it. So before going to do the deployment, if you build it, if you see any build errors, you can easily identify and you can quickly fix it. Otherwise, even though you can do the deployment, but before doing the deployment system automatically builds the project then only if the build succeeds then only it will go for the deployment next is a check for the report server availability so first we'll talk about what is a report server and all next check for the report manager see what is a report server the place where we deploy the reports are called as a report server i'm repeating the place where we are going to put the reports data sources data sets and all is going to call it as a report server the place user is going to access the place where the user is going to see the reports that is called as a report manager so report manager looks like a front end ui report server is for the admin purposes now let me show you so to see the report server and report manager you need to have a reporting services configuration manager that should be in the running mode. Now, in my case, it is in the running mode. Now, let me go to the report server first. See, the report server will look like this. If you see, so these are the list of reports have been deployed, including data sources and data sets. So these are the list of data sources, data sets and reports have been deployed till now in my report server. You can see that. So report server, it comes with the report server. And if you have any instance name for the report server, it will come like this. So if you have only one version of SQL server without having any instance, then you will be getting only this localhost slash report server. So you can see what is the reporting services version also in the down. Next. So this is nothing but a report manager. So this is a place where end user is going to access our reports, our data source and our data sets so this is the place where user is going to see the reports so this report manager you can inherit or you can access in the dotnet applications or in any other applications you can embed this in the any other places so here this is a place it looks like a end user only end user ui only if you want to see any of the uh, report uh, layout and all you need to go to the specific folder and you need to see that and the security can be implemented on the folder level on the report level or on the project level or on the application level or on the report manager level so if you don't have access to access uh, the reporting application so it throws an error message saying that you are not authorized user to access the reports and to deploy the reports to deploy the reports you need to be admin on the top of the report server and so reports can be deployed into the report server in multiple ways so one way is by using sql server data tools first way is by using sql server data tools the other way is open the report manager so this is my link to open the report manager and here you have a upload facility so you can upload report by report but by using this upload file facility you cannot upload all the reports in one time you need to upload reports or data sources or data sets in one by one in one by one you cannot upload all in one shot so that is the uh, second way of 
deploying the reports into the report server or report manager the other way is you have a command prompt so in the command prompt you need to specify again report server url so there if you have any user id password you need to provide that user id password to connect to the report uh, server and you need to give them reports location where is the reports are been located in the your local machine you need to give source target user id password in the command prompt so that's how you can deploy the reports as well so there are three ways of uh, deploying the reports one way is by using sql server data tools means this is a window the other way is so you have upload facility the third way is you can deploy with the help of the command prompt by providing source uh, reporting uh, source uh, reports location target report server location and the user id password to connect to the report server so there are three ways to deploy it next so this is my project i am planning to deploy if you see my project is containing uh, around like a 15 reports so each and every example have a report so these are all the examples we have done during the previous videos so i have around 10 plus reports i want to deploy all these reports in one shot into the report server so how to do that if you want to do in one shot there are two ways one way is by using sql server data tools the other way i told you is by using command prompt but by using report manager you cannot deploy one shot you have to deploy one report by report like that now so let me show you how to deploy by using sql server data tools so before going to deploy so once once you feel once you are done with the report development let's right click on the project click on build so if you have any errors in the solution you can see my solution is a error free that is the reason it's showing as a in the left bottom side you can see build succeeded so build should be succeeded before you are going to you should deploy in the reports now let's right click on the project my project name is ssrs examples so do i have that name again here so if you already have that name in in this uh, report manager it automatically overrides otherwise it creates i don't have that name here now let's right click here build it i build it yeah build succeeded next as a second step right click on the project go to properties go to properties if you just right click and click on properties you will be having left side general folder in the right side you will be having okay so output path is bin dash uh, bin slash debug and we are overwriting the data set we are overwriting the data sources and the data sets are going to be placed in the data sets folder data sources are in the data sources folder and so what is the folder you want to create in the report manager so by default it shows the project name ssrs examples if you want to give a meaningful name saying that so this is a finance reports you can make it as a finance report so it creates a finance reports folder in the report manager and it puts all these reports into that folder next so uh, target report part folder is report parts as it is then what is the url that you need to put the url manually here so my url is a report server url here you should put the report server url only not report manager url now let me copy the report server url let's copy this let's come to the ssdt keep here and like a target version is 2008 r2 or later so my reports can be deployed into the 8 r2 or later versions so okay so here i am going with the same name as ssrs examples and i am my url name is this localhost slash report server you should give only report server url only i am repeating let's click on apply yeah so here i want to override this data source and data set whenever i deploy it let's click on okay yeah now we are done let's build again for safer side yeah again the left bottom side you can see the build succeed so once you are done with that step right click on this click on deploy so once you click on deploy so it shows you output window so one output window will pop up one output will, window will pop up and shows so these reports are going to be deployed into this particular location deployment has been started and deploying one by one report one report has been deployed yeah it takes a while like a, um, uh, 10 to 30 seconds to deploy each and every report so you can see the progress here in the green color right it started deploying report by report yeah it may take a while to deploy 
yeah second report has been deployed area chart third is cascaded fourth is chart yeah it is started deploying reports one by one so at the end you can see the status either deployment is succeeded or failed so it may take a while because i have 10 plus reports if you are testing this for only one or two reports it is very easy it will be done in seconds yeah now you can see the status here build one succeeded and zero failed and zero skipped deploy so one succeeded zero failed and zero skipped that is the reason i told you so before going to deploy let's build it first so that you can uh, you can see the errors during the building itself now the deployment is done so once the deployment is done let's go to the report manager and just refresh it okay so once you refresh it so you will be getting that reports what is the name of the folder ssrs samples yeah so there is that yeah ssrs ssrs examples yeah this is a project where my reports have been deployed let's click on this folder so there i can see how many reports are there in my solution i can see these many reports if you see all the reports have been deployed so to open that report let's click on any of the report matrix if you want to see the matrix report let's click on matrix so you will get the data from a it it eats the database and it opens that matrix report with a data so this is how we deploy the reports so i am just showing a one sample report with data as well let's see this yeah so meanwhile if you see here in the top you have a, a, a pagination of uh, by default and you have a saving option you have a refresh option you have a, a print option you have a feed option so these are options are by default uh, facilities provided by the microsoft if you want to save this as a pdf csv mhtml excel tip file and what you can do that so this is how we will be deploying and observing the outputs so this link will be sharing with the end user so that if he has a necessary privileges he has a sufficient privileges he will open the particular report and we'll see the data in the particular report so in the next video we'll talk about how to implement a security in the ssrs so that is a one of the important concept in the ssrs so thank you for watching please uh, subscribe and share your feedback in the comment section thank you that's it